guys, your girl Tate, and we're back again with another video. I just keep them satisfied. was how I started my business so we're just going to get into it okay we're not gonna get around the bush nothing like that we're just gonna get into it per. so oh y'all like my little shirt but yeah so we got some questions maybe some vendors you know we just got a little bit of everything in here okay Oh, and the hair that I'm wearing is from my frontal wig line, 26 inches. So that's like down to what? Almost like right, this was right there on my butt. Yeah, it's right there on my butt. Yeah, promote you all, nobody else will. But yeah, so we're just going to get right into it. I'm just going to answer the questions that people gave me or whatever, the ones that's most asked anyway. So, all right. So, the most frequently asked question would probably have to be, do you have to have a bunch of money? No, you don't. Because when selling hair and lashes and all that stuff like I do, you do not have to have money to have products on hand. What well, it also takes us into our next question, but whatever. So, you do not have to have money to start. You can find vendors on Google. You can find vendors on Alibaba. Um, I wouldn't try, I wouldn't say AliExpress because that's not wholesale, so I wouldn't say AliExpress. But yeah, so you can find vendors and all that stuff. And basically, you just when because I know how when I started, what I did was when people paid me, I paid the vendor. So yeah, that's normally how you should do it. Like, well, that's normally how people do it when they start off, anyways. They just um they make their prices or whatever and then then the people pay them and then that's when they pay the vendor and that's how the whole thing goes or whatever so the vendor ends up shipping the product to the customer instead of you shipping it to the customer and that's called drop shipping um and do you have to have products on hand um i would say no you actually don't have to have products on hand but it is a disadvantage because if somebody needs a pair of lashes today or some bundles today, you don't got them on hand, but somebody else got them on hand, they can go with that person that got them on hand because they can get them today instead of having to wait for them to come, if that makes sense. Because I feel like as people nowadays, we're, we're impatient. Like me, I feel like, like if I buy something from somebody and I have to wait for it to come, more than likely, if somebody else got it on hand, I'm going to get it from who got it on hand because I don't like waiting on stuff. That's my problem. Yeah, I, I don't like I, me personally. I'm impatient, so I would definitely say no. You don't have to have products on hand, but it is a disadvantage. It definitely is because if somebody else sell the same stuff and they got it on hand, more than likely, people are gonna like like it's gonna draw attention to them because they have their stuff on hand, so people can go see it, touch it, feel it, pick it up. You know, I don't know. Um, was it hard starting a business and how? Um, I definitely would say that it wasn't as hard as people make it seem. Like it's not it's not that hard really, honestly. If y'all hear the news outside, it's a truck driving past my house. But yeah, it's not that hard. You just have to have determination and drive and you gotta really wanna do it. Like you gotta be dedicated to it. Like like my business, my business is my baby. Like me, I I ain't even gonna hold you. I probably would never give this up ever. Like I would never give this up for anything. Because it's like I put so much work and time into it. It's just like, I mean, don't get me wrong. It is hard. I ain't, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it is hard. Like you have hard times where your business isn't doing as good as you want it to do, or as many people as you want to shop with you aren't shopping with you, or you're not getting as much attention as you think you should with your business, or you don't. You're not like you're trying to figure out how to post or what to post to get attention trying to figure out how to make your website look like this or look like that so you get attention on your site like 
it's a lot that goes into this and i think that that's what most people don't understand because people just think that okay i can buy this i can buy 50 pairs of lashes and sell them and i'll open it i own a business that's not how it is like it's not just reselling something it's like it's it's a real thing like it takes time like you have to think of a name a logo color schemes all that stuff marketing packaging slogans like who's gonna promote what you should promote what you shouldn't promote more than others you know like it's hard and i think people don't really understand that people just think that it's like okay well i ordered this online i sell this now i got a business that's not how this works that's not how it works at all and i'm sorry to be the one to tell you but it's not how it works and you will not succeed if that is your mindset if you think okay well i can buy 50 pairs of lashes and i can flip that and i'm a business owner or you're looking at people like dollar signs you're not going to succeed and you're not going to last long you're going to be very burnt out very quick because you have to understand that it's not just about dollar signs you gotta want to put money into this to get money out of this like me right now i ain't, I ain't even trying to be funny but on average i probably spent three thousand dollars on this relaunch with all the products and the packaging and business cards thank you cards and everything that i want to do to promote my relaunch is about a nice whopping three thousand dollars yes i said it three thousand fucking dollars So when people say like, oh, y'all just get y'all stuff off AliExpress, da 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 anybody can do that. No, y'all couldn't. No, the hell y'all could not. The packaging that, like, uh, put it like this. This is not for everybody. This is not something that everybody should do. This is not something that everybody should want to do. I ain't, well, no. Because, I'm, like I said, everybody should want to start their own business. Everybody but not everybody has the drive or the determination or the love for it to start their own business that's what i mean not this not everybody not built for this like this is hard like you're gonna have customers who aren't satisfied with your products or customers who are satisfied but lying say they aren't satisfied or people who won't share your stuff just because it's you that's selling it they really like your products but secretly they be hating because it's you like there is a lot that goes into this and that's what people do not understand like this is not just for fun or for play play this is something real this is people real lives real money like that's three thousand dollars three thousand dollars and you think i'm just gonna i just got three thousand dollars to give i'm not rich i don't have three thousand dollars just to give like people don't understand that this is real life like this is not a joke this is not just something that people do for fun on the side. Well, this is not something I do for fun on the side anyway. This is something that is real and that I want to provide for me. This is something that I want to be provided for me to be able to help pay my college tuition or to be paying for my car, my house, my expenses, all that. Like, this is not something that I'm just doing just for fun. This is something that I want to be a multi-billion dollar company. And yes, I said it, billion dollar company, okay, period. Because, see... The people who I went to school with, they was going to school with a billionaire and they didn't even know it. Period. Speaking into existence. But, um, what are some obstacles you face? Um, I would definitely say obstacles that I face are, I'd probably say what obstacles I used to face would probably be staying motivated. Um, yeah, probably staying motivated, posting consistently, um, not getting discouraged when things don't go how i wanted them to go um and then i would probably say the biggest obstacle that i have would probably be posting consistently and getting down on myself and not realizing that like okay i'm only 17. i ain't been doing this for that long well i am doing this for what a year and some change yeah a year and some change and when people ask about me, they be like, oh, Tay, that's still lashes, Tay, that's still hair, this and third, blah, blah, blah. As long as that's attached to my name, I know that I did what I was supposed to. I know that I promoted how I was supposed to. And I know that I got my name out there how I was supposed to. Because it's like, now it's like when people ask who sell lashes or who sell hair or who got sunglasses or lip gloss or whatever else I sell, they tag me. They always tag me, me and whoever else. So it's just like, it feels good to know that, okay, well, 
I didn't fail. I, I didn't fuck this up. Like, I, I really did what I set out to do. Well, some of what I set out to do. I ain't done yet. But, yeah. Um, and how do you network? I would definitely say social media is a killer, y'all. Social media is going to be your biggest friend, okay? Because that is how you meet other people who said the same stuff as you. That's how you meet other people who can help with marketing. How you meet other people who can help with branding. All that stuff. Like, you are, social media is going to be your biggest friend. And word of mouth. Because I would definitely say do, do like, do all the fun stuff. Do pop-up shops. Do the little business groups. Um, excuse me. Because I'm in a few of the little business groups or whatever. And they definitely help. They definitely help with getting advice from other business owners who may be further than you or who have maybe been doing this longer than you. They definitely help with getting advice, branding advice, um, marketing, promotion, all that stuff. Like, they definitely, 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 definitely help with that. So, I would say, yeah, social media is going to be your biggest friend. Social media, um, I would say, probably, like, business coaches or, um, honestly, I would just say get out and promote yourself like meet new people hey how are you i sell da, 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 da. get them a business card hey how are you i sell da, da, da. give them another business card like you gotta want to put yourself out there like you do not have to you know like I, I can't explain it really but it's just like you don't have to be wearing a business suit to be noticed as a businesswoman because i don't wear no business suit everybody know i got a business like if you're in the mall, like, you see somebody, hey, how are you? I sell da 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 you get them a business card. You're out to eat. You see a waitress with some nice lashes. Hey, how are you? I sell lashes, da 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 I give her a business card. You do not have to wear a suit and a dress or high heels to be noticed as a business woman. As long as you got your business cards on you and you ain't scared to push your business, that's networking. um is it good to make business friends uh, what i i just said something about this today actually like it is definitely good to make business friends because you may need those people like you say if you're planning a pop-up shop and you done got bad blood with everybody every other business owner in your city you ain't gonna have a pop-up shop because anybody had to pop up with you like you have to know how to keep business relationships you have to know how to have friends in the same field as you have friends who are like-minded Y'all don't even have to be friends, but as long as y'all are cordial and there's nothing but good vibes between y'all, you can't go wrong. Like, I have friends who said the same stuff as me. I have friends who want to say the same stuff as me. I have friends who said different stuff than me. I have friends who don't say anything at all. But you always want to have that open line of communication there to where that if you need them for something business related, they can help or they don't mind helping. So, yes, you definitely do need to have business friends. Definitely period um what else all right y'all so that was def that was the last question so for those of y'all who have made it this far in the video you might want to get your phone out or if you're not on your phone you're watching tv or whatever the case may be get you a pen and some paper because we're dropping vendors y'all okay y'all ask for them so i'm gonna give them to y'all so i have a lash vendor okay and then i'm gonna well, first I'm going to tell you how to contact them and all that stuff. Then I'll give y'all their number and everything. So, how you contact them is going to be through an app called WhatsApp, which is W-H-A-T-S-A-P-P. -P. It's going to be a green little app, and I'll probably put a picture right here or whatever. But, yeah, that's going to be the app that you're going to use to contact these vendors. And when you contact them, what you say is, hey, like for me to be, hey, my name is Latasia. I... Um, own a business where I sell lashes, hair, etc. And I was interested in seeing your prices and what you offer. Would you be able to give me any insight on that? And then they'll respond back. Normally, because when it's daytime here, it's nighttime over there. So they're a whole 24 hours ahead of us. So it's kind of like, not, I wouldn't even say 24 hours. I think it's like 12. Yes, 12, I think. I think, yeah, I think it's 12. 12. Yes, yeah, 12. They're 12 hours before us. So when we're in daytime, they're in nighttime. So when you're about to go to sleep, they're just waking up. So, um, if you, if, like, some vendors will text you throughout the day. Some vendors will text you at night. Well, your nighttime, their morning time. So, it really just depends all on, like, what kind of vendor they are. Because 
my vendors take all day, all night, and don't care. But, um, so the first vendor is going to be a lash vendor. Now, what I will say is, I'm going to categorize these vendors, but some of them do offer more than what they are categorized as, and that is on you guys to figure that out. So, I have a lash vendor. Um, their number is going to be 8615132150542. And I'm going to put a little screenshot here of um their number and all that stuff so y'all don't gotta worry about like trying to pause and put it in pause it you know so you can just screenshot it probably um i have a hair vendor hair and lash vendor um it's going to be plus eight six one five nine one five seven seven eleven six five okay and that's gonna be a screenshot here again um so i have a hair vendor here their number is going to be eight six one six eight five two one two eight nine five okay so um well since this video went a little bit quicker than i expected um i'll just give you guys a bit of an insight of what's been going on with me since i took a break from youtube so i started a new job um, I really do like my job. It's pretty chill. Like, it's really good vibes there or whatever. And everybody there is really nice. We're like a little family or whatever. Um, but, yeah. And, yeah. Um, I have graduated high school. I am in college now. Um, well, I haven't officially graduated, but I am done with high school. My graduation isn't until June, and now I am in college um i just started college this monday today's wednesday so i started two days ago um it's good so far i really liked it i feel like my classes are like interesting and intriguing so it's like i'm a lot more interested than in high school when it was just boring um i feel like it's a lot more like face to face it's a lot more um they ask questions you answer them you ask questions and they'll answer them if they can you know like it's it's more of a adult environment environment it just makes you feel more of like okay i understand what's going on here um well as far as my business right now we are down closing um uh, we are down right now preparing for our relaunch which will be march 14th okay so i'm gonna say this again for those of y'all who keep asking the relaunch is march 14th 2020 we will be at a local pop-up shop near you um as far as everything else um i've really been in like just chilling or whatever um i did get accepted to the college of my dreams which is gonna be which is radford university go radford uh <laughs> um and what's well, this my video my last video was um i think i don't, I don't even remember y'all i don't even remember but good news i have a boyfriend um, he's really sweet, y'all. He's really sweet, I promise, I promise. He's really, he's super sweet, super nice. Um, he takes me on dates and stuff like that. Um, he's really sweet, y'all. Like, for real, he's really sweet, caring and all that stuff. Like, what they be saying, I love it here, period. <laughs> but, yeah, let me know in the comments what's going on with y'all, whatever. Let me know how y'all doing. You know, what's what's been up with y'all. Let me know, because like I said, we're a family here on my channel. I want everybody to feel like they can always hit me up, talk to me, email me, or whatever the case may be. Uh, yeah, so. But, yeah, on my channel, I want to start a couple of new, like, little segments or whatever, like, where we have our girl talks and stuff, or where we have story times and stuff like that. Um, and I definitely do want to be more consistent with posting. I ain't going to give y'all a schedule yet, and then I don't follow through and y'all be mad at me. So... I'm definitely just going to keep it open. I'm going to keep it open for right now. So what I'm going for right now is once a week, okay? Once a week. I'm going to push twice. I'm going to push for twice, okay? Twice. Because I get two days off. So on my two days off, I'm probably I'm going to try to record and drop a video, okay? I don't know what my off days are going to be because sometimes my schedule does get switched up. And then I also, like I said, I'm in college now too. So I also have classes and all that stuff too. So like I said, um... I don't want to give y'all a schedule now. I don't stick with it. But I know right now what I am pushing for is posting at least once a week. 
whether that be in the beginning of the week or the end of the week i'm not sure of yet but i do want to try to stick with posting for at least once a week for y'all um yeah so if you guys have like any topics y'all want me to talk about or anything y'all want to ask me about or anything like that you know just hit me up or whatever and we can definitely talk about it i can definitely get up here and make a video for y'all whatever you know um i'll put my social medias at the end of the video and stuff like that for the intro and all that but yeah i hope everybody is good i hope y'all all are in good spirits i hope y'all all living y'all best life whether it's with a man or not with a girl or not whatever the case may be i just hope everybody living their best life being positive this year no negative energy if you got negative vibes around you if they friends or if you the negative vibe cut it off i just want everybody to hustle hard this year and do y'all best like seriously because i know 2019 was a crucial year for a lot of us me personally anyway it was but i just want all y'all to be all right i want all y'all to be happy to be rich you know i just want everybody to be happy and in good spirits so yeah thanks for kicking it with your girl today all right i'm out guys bye i just keep them satisfied yeah.